Okay. So uh, first things first. Yeah, go ahead. This meeting is being recorded. <laughs> <laughs> were, we, were you going to say something? Oh, I was just trying to find like just little emojis. If like everybody loves emojis, Perfect. right? Yes. So first things first is always, yeah, always put in the post on um, the page first. And then also, is this, is this going to be, do you have a video of it or, or just the it's, it's, it's pictures and at the end is like a video. So like, I don't have like, it's weird. Like they put the video at the end of like the slideshow of pictures. Really? But it like plays all on its own. Okay. So then if they click, is that taking me to a page? So that yeah. is a link, right? So, right. It's like my photographers, like how they play it. Like okay. here, why don't we, why don't I post it and you. Do you have, it? do you have just the video, the raw video? Um, no, like I only have the link to you it. You only have the link. Okay. Because that's how they send it to me. I'm like, where's the little tennis icon? So now the post is on the business page. So now all we're going to do is we're going to go in and simply run an engagement ad. So to, to the very, go to the very, very top, click on your home little icon at the very top, that little house icon up, up all the way at the very top. Yeah, right there. So come back to the newsfeed. And so to the left, you'll click on see more right there on the left below memories. So click on see more and then you should see ads manager. Perfect. So go from there. Um, and when you come back here, there's an ads manager, which is what everybody has. Everybody has an ads manager, but then those that actually, you know, run Facebook ads consistently, they set up a business manager. And all that is, is it just gives you more analytics, the ability to, to assign people to your business page. It just gives you more options, but in this case, you may just need an ads manager. Click on that drop down at the top, your name, Spencer, that drop down at the very top, your name. Yeah, click on that. Click on see more ad accounts. So you have, yeah, you have these two. So you have the one that you're in now is just your ad account, your ads manager. But the top one, that's your business manager. So I would suggest running everything out of that top one. So from this point on, this is where you run ads. Okay, so just click no at the top. Click no, and then um, click on close. And so, yeah, that whole red bar, that is is a whole setup for conversions. So you have to go just just X out of that red bar because you're not gonna you're not gonna run conversions. So, um, yeah. So from here, we'll just click the green button and just run engagement. So, um, and creating a folder is always good too. Bookmarking this page just so you know to get back to it right away. But We'll just do engagement and it's going to be post engagement. So just go ahead and, and click on continue. So you can just leave all that as is. And then over here, this is why um, you would experience ads being rejected or just simply not being approved and not going through is because this special ad category. So that that's the newest update with Facebook in housing where now you have to hit the drop down and you have to choose housing. So select, so yeah, category, you have to go down to housing. So that right there is why most ads in real estate are getting rejected. They don't choose the housing or they're trying to boost a post or they're trying to run an ad from their business page and they don't even see that option. So that's why you want to always come back over here. Yeah. And title it. So, um, and also what I do in the title of this first, there's only three levels to setting up a Facebook ad. This is level one. And you see the levels right here to the side top left. You got, you just, you just titled it. And then you have below that, you have new ad set. And then below that you have new ad right to the top left. You see that to the left. Um, those are the three levels. So that's it. There's just three steps to setting up an ad. Um, this is the first one where you have to choose the category and then scroll down. And then, and then we also chose the objective, which was engagement. And then right here at the bottom campaign budget optimization, you always want to make sure that's off. Sometimes it's on. So just always make sure it's off and then hit next. And that's it. So that's step one, that's it. Choosing the objective, choosing housing, 
and 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 given the given the 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 level the tab a title which is what you titled five five two five eight now one thing real quick click on that at the top left five two five eight go back to it real quick and these were these are what I call the tabs three tabs the fir the first tab which is where we're at now that's the campaign and then the second one is the ad set and then the third one is the ad the new ad those are your three tabs so what I do on the first tab the way I name it. And this just helps you as you start to run ads in the future, you'll start to just be able to look at the dashboard and know what ad that is. So in this case, five, five, two, five, eight, and then you have Waterman Boulevard in parentheses, put engagement. That way, you know, it's an engagement ad, because if you don't put a, 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 um, a very you know detailed description, then you're going to have to click on that ad, come into it just to know what ad you're running. And mm -hmm. so that's too many clicks. Like, I just want to be able to look at it and know what ad that is. So that's engagement. Perfect. And then go, go ahead and click next. Okay, cool. So now we're, now we'll come over here to the second tab, which is your ad set. This is where you choose your budget, the targeting, um, when the ad goes live. So the title at the top new ad set, what I would do is I'd probably just put, I'd probably just put, um, because really the title could be based on your budget. It could be based on your location, your targeting, so in this case, just put the same five, two, five, eight. I mean, it's, that's, that's where we're targeting. We're going to target that area. We're going to target 15 miles around because 15 miles is the minimum. So we're going to target 15 miles around this address. Okay. So you could just put that and you don't have to put anything in parentheses. That's fine. So daily budget or lifetime budget, it's the same dollar amount. So whatever the budget is, I would say, I would say go at least, at least $10 a day um, and run it for maybe, I don't know what's your budget on it. What, I mean, it's up to you. Like what overall, like, what do we have to just spend on it? 50 bucks, a hundred bucks, like whatever. Yeah, like, I mean, I don't want to spend a whole ton of money, you know? I just, yeah. Yeah. So I like part of me, I hate doing it. Cause like people saying mean stuff. <laughs> No, don't even worry about that. No one's going to say anything. No one's going to say anything. And at the same time, these people don't even know you. They're not even your Facebook right. friend. They don't like your business page. They're just seeing a random ad. They don't even know you. So don't take it that way at all. Um, and at the same time, you can delete it. Like, I'm pretty sure you can delete comments I'm on an ad. I'm pretty sure you can. Um, I haven't had any negatives. So I never really deleted, but but I'm pretty sure you can delete any type of comment. And again, this is an engagement ad. So you're going to have to keep up with these these comments. You're gonna you're gonna want to to keep up and reply because um, those are all potential leads. So delete it if anything. But what I'm saying on this daily budget or lifetime, it it ends up being the same dollar amount. We're gonna go lifetime. So for example, if the budget is what what is what's the budget? Fifty bucks, hundred bucks? Yeah. Like what do you so want? So that's ten dollars a day for what five days? It's up to you. Okay, fifty bucks. So what I would do rather than daily budget ten dollars. I want you to go lifetime. So hit the drop down daily, go lifetime okay. and go 50 bucks lifetime. And let's just schedule the dates. So let it run for, um, let it run for, in fact, let it run for, let it run for 10, let it run for 10 days, you know, $5 a day, 10 days, let it run for 10 days. So okay. always set the, set the calendar, the start date for the next day. Cause you got to give Facebook time to review the ad and then approve it so what i end up doing is i'll end up just going the next day 6 a.m so change the start time to 6 a.m and then and then same exact time for the end so just go yeah third to the 13th and go 6 a.m perfect so lifetime budget there's the lifetime, there's the calendar. And then we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna change the locations. So in the location, just hover over locations, click on edit. And then what you can do is you can hit that drop down right there, people living in, hit that drop down. We always wanna go people living in this location because there are differences, you know, so people living in this location. Let's- um, So, I mean, I'm like, I guess sometimes you might want to think about where other people might be coming be come from. from to go recently in people, people living in or recently in this location, go with that one then. I'm going to do recently in this location. Like if they're traveling from somewhere to look at houses, well, the other like, one, the other option was better. You hit the drop down again, go with the top one. It's people living in or recently in. So it's both. So go with that top one. Okay. Yeah. People living in or recently in this location. 
that top one. No, not that one. The the top you one. You said people so, living in this. Okay. No, the top one. Oh, people I see. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. That one. That's both of them. So perfect. Okay, so you cannot change age. You cannot change gender. Detailed targeting. No need to to narrow in any keywords. You're only targeting this local area. So let everybody see it. So now go down to United. Actually, back up to United States right there. X out the United States and put in the address. We'll target that that area of the address. So. No, that's fine. People actually will go back. I don't know how that changed. People living in or recently in. Yeah. And then just put in the address. You said and I cannot change age. No, you cannot. Not in housing. And then when you're typing that in, yeah, always go with the drop down. So just don't type something in and expect it to be there. Like make sure you see the drop down. So perfect. So, so yeah. And <clears throat> the newest update with as far as real estate agents is this is this category of quote unquote housing that we're in now. So <clears throat> in this category of housing, you cannot change age and you can't change gender. So <clears throat> detail targeting, no need for detail targeting when you're running such a local ad to that small area. So leave that blank. Languages, you can change language, go English all. Um, so edit, edit language and then just type in English and you'll see English all. So um, that drop down right there, you could just choose that one and then scroll down. And then over here, we have, we have automatic placement or we have manual placement. With engagement, just let it, let it go automatic. Let Facebook place that ad everywhere on, on Facebook, wherever the most engagement is, Facebook will find that place. <clears throat> so leave it on automatic and then hit next. And that's it, that's step two. That's it, the ad set level, the second tab is what I call it. That's it. So now over here is the third and final step. So the, the title, you could just put the same, put, um, or, or maybe give a description of, of what ad that is, image with slideshow or image with video at the end, like whatever's going to help you know what ad that is by simply looking at the title. That's how you, how descriptive you want it to be. So slideshow of, of property. Perfect. And then the Instagram account, you can, it's not going to, it most, yeah, it's not going to run on Instagram, but you can connect it anyways. Just hit the drop down, use selected page on the red triangle. I know where the red triangle is at. Get out of that one. So the red, the drop down, yeah, the Instagram. So just, you just click it anyways, it's, even though it's not going to run over there, that's fine. And then, so over here, the ad setup, go ahead and go ahead and yeah, we're going to go use existing post and then select post. Hopefully it allows us to use it sometimes on images. And when that, yeah, sometimes when it's with an, when it's an, it, it is a video, but it, but it's a link. So well, let's see if we can use it. Hit select post. And then is that the, is, yeah, that's it right there. That's it right there, right? Yeah, perfect. Okay, cool. We can use it. Okay, good. So continue. And then that's it. So now what we can do is you can add a button, add a button for the heck of it. So just um, go back to the page, click on it, go back to your Facebook page click on that link or click on the, on the, I think you can click on the video, right? Cause it's I a can't link. Do no, go back to, right here. Well, is this if I just go back? Yeah. Go back to Facebook, go to your Facebook business page and just click on the link, click on the actual, um, unless you want to take them to this page. Like if you want, if you want to take them here, then maybe get that link, but click on it. Yeah. Just click on it. Click on the image. Yeah. See, so this link over here that is taking us to, Go ahead and go ahead and just yeah go ahead and just copy that link. So let's this grab, link? yeah. Now again the the objective is to not really get them here, it's just to get them engaged on the post. But you can always put it there just to put it. So go to an add button, and just paste in that link, and we'll leave it under learn more. So they could just see a learn more button, and they click on it, then then there's the link right there. So update post, and see this. Yeah, hope yeah, hopefully, hopefully, yeah. See, so this is where Facebook changes changed as well, where when you're driving traffic, so hopefully with an engagement ad, we don't have a problem with this. Because where Facebook changed is where is, is now when someone clicks on an ad, the link that they go to needs to be your domain. This isn't. Right? I click on that link and it's taking me to some random link. Which is which is tours dot I can't even read that but but that's the link so now when you're running Facebook ads you have to be taking them to your link 
Now it could be that page, but it's your link. So hopefully that doesn't, hopefully, yeah, hopefully this doesn't get rejected. That's why there's a few things to set up before you run an ad nowadays. Um, and connecting your domain is one of them. But this page that you're going to send people to, that's not even a page you could put your domain on. So it doesn't even matter. That's why, in the, that's why, as I mentioned a few minutes ago, make sure you just do the raw video. Like no more of these links because you can't, you're not going to be able to run ads to these links. You, you, have, to, you have to run it to just the raw video. Um, and then if you do get landing pages in the future, then that landing page software would have your link and you wouldn't have any problems. But in this case, we'll just see what happens. We'll see what happens. If, if Facebook does reject it, it's because of that link. That link okay. cannot, cannot be someone else's link. So if it does get rejected, then our other option is to, is to get, is to request the video. Okay. Email the camera guy or whoever, just say, Hey man, send me just the video. Cause I need to post just the video. And then that's when we can for sure, you know, get this approved and there's no problem because the video is now on Facebook. It's no longer on a different page, mm. you know? So, but let's see if he gets approved. Let, let, let's see. So now we're good. Everything there at the bottom. That's fine. Um, you don't need any of the tracking cause we're not, we're, our pixels not on that page. So you, we don't need any of that. So just hit publish. You're good. So now it's going to just go into review. And then, um, in fact, what we can do is we could take a quick look at what it looks like in the newsfeed once it does go live. Let's take a quick look at that. So just the top to the right, you see that drop down, that square right above the images. So that drop down, down, a little lower to the right, a little up above the image, there's that drop down, that square. So up, up, that drop down, up right there. So click on that and then go down to Facebook desktop newsfeed. Facebook desktop newsfeed. So click on that and then this just shows you, you know, what it looks like in the newsfeed. So as you scroll down, people will scroll, scroll, and then boom, they come across that. So okay. there's your actual ad. So again, I'm 99.999% sure it'll be, it'll be fine. But if we do get flagged, it's because of the link. It's the only reason. It's because of the link. It's not because of how yeah. Among the residents instead of residents. Can I edit that real quick? You know what? Try, but that's another thing is that once you set it up, um, yeah, you mean once you, once you post it on the business page, it's so, and I should have looked at it. I should have looked at the text. I normally always well, look if at I go text. back and fix it, the actual post right here. You can't, that's what I'm saying. So normally you can't. So try because to go I to made the Cause I made the ad already yeah because you have the ad in in, in motion already so if i delete that ad in motion yeah then you could, what I you could go and, yeah what did you mess up on though well it says it's just a typo yes. yeah typo yeah yeah so both of which are very popular among the residents no it's the pool and tennis courts are popular among the residents <laughs> mm -hmm. i don't think anyone will call you out on that but you can always yeah, you can always my husband will <laughs> go ahead and um, try clicking on your link at the top and then yeah. go to that post and try to edit it, which I don't think you can go to your business page and click on your, your, your name, STL homes and properties. Click on the link, uh, click on your business page link. Yeah, try to, but once you post it, it has to be perfect because by the time we go and set up the ad, you can no longer edit, which yeah, I can't edit you it. Can't. So, I mean, if anything, what I'll do is I'll send you this video here and just um, do it again. Just delete okay. this and, so and, I delete this? and do it again. Well, you'll just, in fact, let me show you. So just X out of this part real quick, top left. Yeah, X out. And then what you can do is you can is. shade the blue to gray and you're going to do it on all three tabs. So shade the blue, the blue dot, shade it to gray. This is one tab. This is the third tab. This is your ad yeah, how tab. You shade it to gray? Click on, that's how you shade it to gray. So no more, leave it, leave it alone. Click on the middle tab, add sets, and shade that one to gray. So click on the middle tab. I don't like what middle tab are we talking about? You have, you have your tabs at the top, campaigns, ad okay. sets, and ads. These are your three levels. That's what we just went through is, is right, these then. three setups. So now you're going to just shade them all to gray. And then what you can do is you can simply just delete it. You can delete it, hit that trash can right there at the top little up that trash can. Yeah, right there, go ahead and click that. And then that deletes it. That should, um, and that might've just deleted 
two, two of the three. But yeah, delete that third one. There you go. Okay, perfect. So yeah, so now you just come back into campaigns, click on campaigns, the tab, these are, these are your tabs. So you're going to always hear me talk about tabs. Those are your three tabs, campaigns, ad sets, ads. Those are the only three tabs. And then, so now you'll just come in here, hit the green button and do it again. So okay. I'll send you this video and just, yeah, anytime you post on the business page, make sure it's perfect because you can't change it no more after that. Okay, cool. perfect. And then let me know, let me know how this goes. In fact, I'll see it on the page. I'll look at it in a couple of days and, and look at the engagement and let me know if you need anything else and we'll go from there. All right. Thank you. All right, Spence. You're so welcome. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Uh -huh.